Hello everyone, Soccer Bear here. I'm back with another video for you guys. As you can see, we're in a cemetery. And we're not in just any cemetery. We're actually in North Adams, Massachusetts. Um, we're at one of the cemeteries where there's some people buried here who um, worked on the Hozak Tunnel. The Hozak Tunnel. I keep saying it the wrong way. Uh, so this is an extremely old cemetery. We're, this, this cemetery is huge. It's big enough to have this side, and then over at the at, at the beginning of the street, you go on the left, there's an, the other side of this. So we're gonna try to at least see both of them today, but we'll see. If we don't get it today, then we'll come back for the other one, because we have to like park on the street <laughs> because there's nowhere else to go. Um, because most of the roads, are really close to um, the graves so yeah I, I needed a second to say it but like anyways so it's there the roads are so close to the graves we didn't want to run anybody over so um, that's why we're not driving through here instead also it's snowing by the way or at least it was a little bit like we had like flurries but nice nice um so if you just see um white specks from the sky it's probably gonna be snowing a little bit because in north adams that's just um the berkshire weather basically berkshire and franklin county that's how it is i am confused on how am i supposed to walk through here because i don't know how because everyone's like facing either way, so it's hard to figure out how to like not step on people. So. Most of these graves are taller than me. Well, there's no writing on my side, it's where I'm looking at it. Terrence, what are you talking about? It's readable. Ryan! Hey! <laughs> There's a Ryan! That's their last name. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, if Ryan watches this video, that's gonna be even funnier. Uh, yes. The dwarf will watch the video. probably not gonna find anyone who worked on um, the Hoosick Tunnel here but I know that they are buried here and they're also buried um, in other cemeteries that are also in North Adams and there's actually a lot of cemeteries here but most of them are basically like right off the mountain because North Adams is kind of small but it's a beautiful town honestly in Massachusetts so if you're not from Massachusetts you should visit it like 100% Yes. I don't see any 16 something. Oh, someone passed away in 1900. Well, I lived a very long life there. Where? Oh crap! That's horrible. That sucks. Yeah, but it, could be a lot of things. it could be weathering or something, but a lot of people do come to old cemeteries and just like destroy graves. It's a very common thing. No one said you do it. That statue looks like it has no head, but it could just be bending down the other way. 1905, 1906. I don't know because some people say that great grandma was born 1906, but a lot of people, other people say 1905. That's what I'm saying. That's what it says on her thing, 1905. I know, but a lot of people say something else. <laughs> she argues with everybody. <laughs> yeah. It's sad when you get your own parents' birth year wrong.
there's crosses everywhere. While I'm walking up the mountain, just so you know, I'm surprised I'm not slipping with how low quality my converse are now. There's barely any traction. Someone lost their pants. Or that's a shirt. I don't know. It looks like pants to me. That's a weird place to lose your pants. It's in a cemetery. Oh, this is so cool. I really gotta watch where I'm walking. I'm gonna trip on my own feet and you have no idea how many times this happened. This is 1886. Oh, okay, so that wasn't even a statue of a person. <laughs> so of course there's no head. What? <laughs> Uh, and I, by the way, I am wearing my gl my glasses, so I should be able to see. Mama, Mama, I thought that was a statue of a person, so I thought it didn't have a head, but it's actually not a person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh. I love the angel one. So cool monuments. I actually like this one better than the one that we went to in Deerfield, only because this one's like bigger and also we're not walking on dead bodies. Because a lot of the ones at that um, cemetery, they're just, um, there's a lot of unmarked graves. So you basically are walking on dead bodies the whole time and it's not fun. And I'm walking backwards, by the way, and I shouldn't be walking backwards because there's people behind me here. That's a pile of leaves. I can't read that, but I'm not looking at it right way. The right way, I'm looking at it sideways. <laughs> I, I love the fact that my mom's all the way down there and I'm all the way like, almost at the top of the mountain. Plus there's also a, a gorgeous view from the cemetery. They're lucky to be buried here. If I wanted to be buried somewhere, it would be here. Oh, who is that? Someone with the last name of Adams? Or is that, Ar oh no, it's Armstrong, my bad. I couldn't read it. I could read this, but I can't read that. A lot of times, older, Cemeteries? Hey, that's the, um, my grandfather's name is Lloyd, my father's father, except it's one L. I actually have no idea, but except that's his first name, not last name, but still, it's funny. This is so cool. You guys should see, like, the crypts on, like, the other one. But I don't think we're going to have enough time because I only have, like, 20 minutes left for, for the timer, so. Well, we will definitely come back, but it's, like, 40 degrees and it's actually not that cold, even though technically it's still flurrying. Oh, my gosh. I love that one. There's, that's so pretty. It's gonna probably fall off though, which sucks. This is so cool. That's a ginormous one. <laughs> Mama, I'm all the way over here. We're like a mile apart. I'm being dramatic. You could see the mercury from here. In that abandoned house. In that Jeep that's for sale. Wouldn't want that one. Someone's last name is Darling. The Peter Pan family li is buried here. No, seriously, the last name is Darling. I was just making a Peter Pan joke. Mama, the, the the last name of the people in the Peter Pan movies, last name is Darling. That's what I'm making the reference as. I know it's not them. They're fictional characters. 
Plus, I used to be obsessed with Peter Pan as a kid, so I'm not surprised. Plus, that's also a really nice last name. There's a, there's a couple other ones that are just down over here. They're just knocked over. Ooh, I want to look at this one. I don't want to walk on people. I don't know where to walk. <laughs> that's my problem. I don't want to walk on people. I apologize if I do walk on people. That one's also broken, and nobody fixed it, so now it's basically... Um, Merging with the ground. That's so sad. I don't know where to go. I'm gonna literally fall into a grave if I go this way. Because I'm not good with balancing. <laughs> what? I'm not surprised considering people do that at the tunnel as well. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, no, it looks tiny, but it's still a big car. Even looking at it from here. Oh, there we go. I had to fix my glasses, and now I can see so much better. Because my glasses... Because my glasses were like this for a while, so I could see... <laughs> Half with my my sun lenses on and then half without so it literally looks better like this Oh my gosh, I love that one. Wait, what were you saying? There was a little statue over there that says little Herbert. Herbert, Herbert, Herbert. Well, that's probably because it's a kid's grave or that could have been someone's like nickname though the sun. Yeah, be careful cuz um some of the areas are kind of steep, so you have more traction on your sneakers than mine <laughs> at this point. I would be the one basically literally slipping and then dying on a gravestone. Some of these are really cool. Yeah, I know. But a lot of these graves are really fancy. It's beautiful. I know, but they don't put as much work into to newer ones than they used to. I mean, what? I mean, they don't put much effort into newer gravestones than they used to. Is what I'm trying to say. Yes. Be careful standing so close because you could be walking on people by accident. <laughs> that doesn't help when you're walking on people. Someone passed away on grandma's birthday in 1890, so way before she was born. Yeah. August 16th, they, they, they died the same day Elvis did, except different year, obviously. This is 1883, I think it is. They passed away, but still on the same day Elvis passed away, and then Papa died, passed away on like August 15th, but um, on 2000, 2000, the year 2000, I was, gonna, I was gonna say 19 something, but that wasn't gonna be correct at all. Gaylord. That reminds me of like, the Amazing World of Gumball, because that's what um, the antagonist's name is, their neighbor. What did you say? Ow. Yeah, I know, we do have to come back here, because there's too much ground that we have to cover, literally. Also, someone passed away the year you were born. Yeah, November 15th, 1966. Nineteen oh nine. Nineteen twenty six, they passed away the year Marilyn Monroe was born. Don't ask why I know that is. <laughs> Plus Elvis was born the same year my grandmother was. Which was nineteen thirty five. The only difference is that someone's older than someone because my grandmother was born. Oh my god, that's a Bel Air! That, that blue and white car, that was a Bel Air!
Oh my god, that was nice. And it was in perfect condition too, which you guys can't see. You guys couldn't see it because it was that far away. It literally passed by. That was the best thing ever. Ah, <laughs> that was the best thing ever. And we saw other classic cars today, but that was like the best one because that was literally like the matriarch of the 50s is the Bel Air. And I don't even like Chevy that much, but the Bel Airs are the best thing. They're, they're also used for like race cars as well. And I almost um, bought one because someone just kept trying to offer me his black Bel Air like last year. <laughs> I think it was last year, or it was the year before last year, and then I saw it again at, like, um, Classic Burger again this year, and then I also saw it at the Big E last year, too, I think. I'm gonna slip and die. Crap, crap, crap! <laughs> I slipped! <laughs> I slipped because of stupid traction on my shoes! <laughs> If any of my family members are watching this, get me new Converse for Christmas. That's your mission. Get me new Converse because I, I, I need shoes a better tractor before I kill myself by accident. And at a graveyard, no less. I thought that said Charlemont, but that says Charlotte. Charlotte Clark. That's such a nice name. And some, some of the older... Graves can tell you the age they were when they died, but there's a lot of them that don't say it. Just so you guys know. Excuse me. Iv Ivring? Ivan? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but... Oh! They died when Papa was born! 1929! That's so sad! But then again... Wait... Yeah, the one on, on the bottom. Dean. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, because they were born in 1870, 1879, and then they passed away in 1929. Jeez, that's a long life, but... That's so sad that they had to die that year. That's literally a good year. Not to die. <laughs> I didn't even know they exist then, and that's me saying it, literally. Oh my gosh, they have a crown? Ooh. I, I love I love these. It is super cold and I'm walking around with like an open jacket and I cannot feel my toes. <sighs> I should have worn thicker socks. Or just my boots, but I did not. Well actually my boots wouldn't help that much considering they're their leather boots, but still. And it's windy! I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here again. Do, do, do. <laughs> there we go. Got it. I don't know where my mom went. She basically disappeared. They even had the little stairs. That's so adorable. <laughs> so adorable. Ellen. Let's go up this way. Do, do, do. Because we drove over that way. And then we parked this time. Because the last time we were here, we drove through here. And my mom didn't like it. Because one, we have a ginormous car. Two, <laughs> um, she's just, she was just getting scared. Because she doesn't like heights. And this is like a hill. So, and also the roads are like this. So she just didn't trust it. And she didn't want to like drive over gravestones which I didn't want her to do that anyways so and then she also wasn't feeling well that day so we had to go back home and she's probably wondering where the hell <laughs> I went to when I was basically just dilly dallying over there and then now I'm trying to find her we definitely are gonna come back here because I love this place so much and this is my favorite town in North Adams. Oh my god, the last name's Ford. How lucky. And it's spelled just like the car brand. They're my favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite one to see. Yes. <sighs> but yeah, because 
there's no way I would have enough time to record the whole place in one day. And we also have to do other stuff before we leave. So, yeah. But look at how cool this is. You can see the windmills. Well, you guys can't. I can. You can see them. When you come, you'll be able to see them. They have little Christmas trees. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yes. And it's still flurrying, by the way. You can also see the town from here. Come on. Um. So yeah. It's just a really cool area. And I do recommend people come here to visit, but if you're, don't vandalize anything, just be respectful and everything. Okay, so, that's all. I can't even feel my hands. Or at least my right hand, that's the hand that I'm holding the camera with. So, yeah, we'll come back here for more spooky December stuff. I was about to say September. It's not September. This is literally like winter. There's straight up ice on on the mountain when we came. There she is. There you are. Hello. <laughs> I have no idea where she went, but I'm going to ask her afterward. Still can't believe that they have a four people who have their last name Ford here. Imagine if it was like Han Henry Ford. I doubt it though. It's not. This is a totally different family. But that would have been cool as heck if it was. I would be crying <laughs> with happiness. Literally if it was. Because I love Ford so much. <sighs> I'm going to fall off the face of the earth one day. Because my stupid shoes are too old for this. Oh, I thought, I thought their last name was Booth. But it's not. I misread it. Not the first time. So much cool stuff. Where did you go? Ah. Well, I was going to go that way, and then I chose to go up the way I, I'm coming back from. I'm right here. Exactly. Did you know that there's a family that's, their last name is Ford, exactly like the car brand? <laughs> it's literally up there. What you pointing at? Yeah, there's a little one right there. I know. I know. Oh, also, there was a Bel Air that passed by. I think you missed it. It's not the first time I do that to everybody. <laughs> it's not the first time I do that all the time. Why do you think? Why do you think my nickname is Ghost? Literally, I end up literally going places with people, then I end up disappearing on them, and then I reappear. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere else except for my face. It's the only place I, got to I can't feel my hand. Well, you want me to take pictures and whatever? Just hurry up. And yes, me. yes, we'll do it all in good time, Mama. I know, I only have five minutes left anyway, so I know. Go away in the car, I'll come get you. Warm up. Why? No, it's not. It's only 40 degrees, actually. Yeah, it's 41 degrees, but then again, we're in North Adams, so I'm not surprised. Eddie! Hey! nice <laughs> the last name is Eddie Clark that's a very common last name like every literally um cemetery I go to there's a Clark um but yeah that's that's enough for this I don't think that this place is haunted I haven't felt anything different am I wearing me okay I was <laughs> making sure my necklace was on um so yeah that's enough for this I thought that this would be a fun video to do 
Um, again, I don't know if this place is haunted, but there's people buried here who worked on the Huzak Tunnel, as I said before. Um, I don't think we ever found any of them, but um, there's other places, cemeteries in North Adams. I literally um, looked up all of them, so we're going to probably visit more later. Or if we don't get to them this year, then we'll do it for Spooky September next year. So yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Um, remember to stay classic. Remember to take care of your mental health. And also remember <laughs> to stay strong, my warriors. Peace out. See you guys later.